What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So, we have the second call mission today, Junk Run. And if you watched the previous video on Sneaky Sabotage, you might have noticed I didn't really like Sneaky Sabotage this, that much. This mission, Junk Run, is... It's so much better. It is so much better. I actually had a decently fun time playing through it. And even the collectibles are just straight up better. It's, it's just a better designed mission all around, if you like combat in this game. And it also delivers on the whole aspect of commanding around Grenier troops that I thought would be in these missions. Like the Veilbreaker quest. This junk run has that in droves. So, we're going to go over a guide on all the challenges today for junk run, and we're also going to be, you know, just talking about this mission and what you can expect from these going forward. Alright, so, junk run is going to be the second of the three call missions. If you want to play junk run and you did not do sneaky sabotage last week, you will need to wait for another weekly reset. Whatever the third one will be called, you'll need another weekly reset before you can do the third one. Now, a big thing to remember here is that when you do these, uh, you, you do not need to do the bonus challenges, guys. All of these are, un, un, are not required. You know why? Because ranking up is only tied to mission completion. If you want to get more stock, yeah, you should probably do the challenges, but don't do any challenge that you think is annoying and is not worth your time. You... If you do this over time, you will eventually get enough stock to buy Archon Shards every week once we get to that rank, which we're not going to have enough for another two weeks. But yeah, just complete the mission. No challenges. We'll get you to rank three if you did your challenge last week as well. Okay? So, let's go over these challenges and we're going to go over the gameplay as well. So, as far as things that return here, we still have to collect the gene stamps. These are randomly spawning throughout the map. So, where mine spawn will maybe be different where yours spawn. Remove five veils during uh, using the Veil Breaker. Now, unlike last week, Removing the veils here is a much bigger deal. When you remove the veil from a Grenier Trooper for this, that Grenier Trooper will join your team and will be a commandable teammate for the rest of the mission. Okay, so big difference here. You want to break the veils this time. Before, it was just for collectibles. This is actually very, very helpful. Get five kills within three seconds. This is the one that a lot of people are considering impossible. I'm going to show you how to do it uh, in, this, in this video as well. Find extra thumper parts for Chipper. This actually has a waypoint in the map. So very straightforward for this one. Just basically go to the green waypoint, and it's a little bonus room where it's going to require some like easy puzzle solving. The five rescued Ostrons seem to have uh, you know, set spawns. So much, much better on collectibles this week. And let's get into the gameplay so we can start talking about this stuff. Um, not to mention, this is a much more combat-focused uh, mission. The first opening section here uh, is going to be reminiscent of the previous one, where it's like hack the console, hack the tower, all that stuff, but that does not last very long. Uh, there's not really any sneaking in this, I'd say, besides this first section with the deacon. By the way, um, you can shock these deacons with, like, uh, if you see, like, environmental hazards for lightning, it will kill the deacon from electric shock. So you can you can use that to your advantage. So I actually got two gene stamps in the first starting area. I thought that was kind of weird, because the previous week, Sneaky Sabotage had no gene stamps in the starting area. There's another gene stamp area right there. Um, so yeah, just basically hack the doors. Keep moving forward. In this first room is where you can actually activate some traps to kill deacons. It's not required, but it is kind of funny to just, you know... See, he flies over there, activate the electric thing he's done. There's another one on the left side of the room you can do that for as well. So, as far as the Soma Cord, I'm going to show you how to get the Soma Cord here as well. Uh, basically, just go into this room and turn left. There is a bunch of collectibles if you turn left. I was checking in this tunnel just to see if any collectibles spawned in there. I'm not sure if that is a spawn spot, but I did check uh, just to make sure. So if we head to the left, there is a big area that's going to have the Soma Cord, uh, some gene tag spawn locations, and a guaranteed Ostron cage. So um, it, it's just like we're going from like tiny cage drive parts as collectibles to gigantic cages as collectibles. Much easier to tell where they are. Um, so yeah, go down this way. Now there is no actual like combat down this direction as far as like, you know, other Grenier to like unmine control. Uh, but you, you do want to get these collectibles if you want maximum stock. Uh, keep in mind, there is going to be a uh, cumulative challenge update, but that's not for another week. So if you want to do this uh, and get the max stock, you need to do all the collectibles. Uh, or do You need to collect all the collectibles you need for the challenge in one run. So as you see, an Ostron in the cage, and then the Soma Cord is right next to that gene stamp I just saw on the ground. Very, very straightforward to get to. Now, you can check these back corners. Stuff can spawn back here as far as collectibles, uh, but for this run, I'm just going to spoil it. We did not get any at the end of these hallways. There's another it's another hallway on the left side of this room, which I did check, and we're just gonna skip over that because there was nothing in there, okay? But I did have I did have a gene stamp spawn there in a previous run. We've we found that the room is empty. We're going back to the main path. And uh, this is where you're gonna start running into um, 
you're going to start running into those Grenier troops I was telling you about that you can un-mind control. There's quite a bit of check spots in this room. We actually haven't left the room yet. Okay, now I'm back here. There's a gene st uh, spot right there. There's an Ostron cage in this main room as well. And, um, you know, it, it's quite it's quite straightforward just to, just to free them. They teleport out. There's not much to it. And as far as getting through this room, there is a very unnecessary, like, camera hacking sequence where you have to switch cameras. It just, it didn't seem necessary. Like, this, this door could have honestly just been open. I don't think it would have been too big of a deal. Um, but yeah, hack this, switch cameras, and yeah, just hack that door. Pretty straightforward. As far as puzzles and stuff like that, there's no puzzles for another, another little while here. But this is going to where, this will be where the, the uh, thumper part will be. If you want to get the extra thumper uh, stock for, for parts, here you go. So... We walk into this room. There's a sentient you can uh, you can you know finish her, and there's a jetpack. Make sure you pick up that jetpack from that that grenier on the ground. It makes the mission a lot easier. There's also a certain collectible spot you need a jetpack to get to. So if we go right to that green waypoint, that's where the thumper bonus objective is. If you want to just first free this uh, grenier who's been taken mind controlled by the the armor, go for it. Now that that mind control uh, you know breaking thing, you can actually change one of your controls in your settings to make it not have to, you don't have to mash the button. You can make it hold to uh, hold to mash or whatever the setting's called. Um, so you can go to, uh, there's it's one of the settings in uh, keyboard and mouse. Oh, gameplay, gameplay. Um, I'll find it eventually. I'll link it in the description down below. I can't find the exact setting right now. Um, but yeah, I actually changed it where I don't have to like mash the button anymore. As far as this, uh, this, Thumper challenge. It's pretty straightforward. Hack the camera. Whatever icons you see on the camera, it's been the it's been the same two icons for me every time. Just match the icons. Uh, hack the console, and the water drops. You can go down and grab that. And that's an easy stock for you. There's usually not anything else down here besides just that that armor uh, thumper part. So um, as you're going along, now I, this is this is where the, the part the confusing part might come in. We're supposed to get five kills in three seconds. The enemies aren't really usually spawning in big groups of, you know, five enemies. So, as far as spots that you can get that five kills in three seconds challenge done, I have been able to find two spots where it can work somewhat reliably. The main one I'm going to show you in the clip is going to be the one I recommend to you, but I'll also tell you where the second spot is as well. Now, as far as enemies uh, that you're looking out for, you, you can technically get a big group of those, those small flying sentients in one area and then blast them away with one grenade. But we're actually going for a certain spot where a guarantee of five enemies spawn altogether. And what we're also going to do, just for safety's sake, we're going to actually get a couple of the flying sentients low. Now, for that strategy, you might not want to capture any of these Narmer guys on your team. Just let the Narmer guys, the, the Narmer Grenier, let them stay mind controlled until you do the five kills in three seconds challenge. Why is that? Because I actually, ha I don't know for sure if they, if their kills count for you. And at the same time, you need to get five kills in three seconds. Not exactly an easy thing to do in this mission. Uh, with the way the enemy spawning is. So I just I just didn't... I, you can tell them the whole position. If you push G, you can command them. Tell them the whole position. You don't want them next to you during the bridge section that will be at, uh, coming up to pretty soon here because they can potentially screw it up. So that's going to be one thing is make sure that you control your uh, you control your squad mates accordingly. Now, these, these side corners do have some collectibles. We have a, uh, a Ostron and a Gene Tag there. Um, I'm sure there's more stuff. That, there's other spots that can be hidden in here, but we didn't find anything else. There's also this back area with a hole in the map that was pretty funny, but I didn't find any gene tags back here either. So, And you, you also can't jump through that hole. I tried to jump through the hole. It didn't work. Um, I'm sure you could maybe like really force it, but we're going to move on here. Now, there's up to six Narmer Grenier that you can you can take back. So you can have up to six squad mates, and it's pretty fun. I mean, like they shoot at stuff. They like... They make like... They do voice lines and stuff. It's pretty... Th th this is so much better than last week. Like seriously. Like this... This is the whole Republic Commando thing I wanted and was expecting from Call of Missions. They're doing that. So, you know, I'm, I'm still not happy about the collectibles thing. I think that we are definitely making too many, like, collectibles-focused uh, updates. Like, Zeramon had collectibles-focused. These have collectibles focus. I, I personally just don't like collecting collectibles. I, I, I don't know about you guys. I know everyone's different, of course. Some people like the first Sneaky Sabotage mission. I did. I like this one a lot more. And, you know, like, I'm sure people will be like, I like Sneaky Sabotage more than this. And that is totally up to you. But I'll just tell you right now that I actually like this one. I didn't actually like the last one. So already a step in the right direction for me. Actually, a leap in the right direction. As far as this room's concerned, I don't even know if there's anything going on in here. Um, there's like a camera control console, but it doesn't have any power. So if you can find anything to do in that room, definitely let me know. Um, and we're about to move to the room where I'm going to show you how to do the five kills in three seconds challenge. 
Um, so the way that this is going to work is there's a Kuva Ayanga, or not Kuva Ayanga, there's an Ayanga that, that uh, the Arcwing gun that Call will pick up in this next room. The way we're going to do this is we're going to actually, after you pick up that Ayanga gun, there are five enemies that are guaranteed to spawn. Oh, by the way, you have to hack this door too. It's not too hard. The icon that's above, change it, change it uh, to match, and then the icon below on that, that rock face, change that to match as well. It's, it's pretty straightforward. So I am going to pause the gameplay right here. I'm going to show you the clip I'm talking about. So, we want to get these guys low. They, right here, that that gun right there, if you pick that up, five enemies will spawn on that bridge, okay? This is where telling the call brothers to, like, hold back might be a good call on your part, uh, no pun intended, to, to actually get this done. I'm going to show you what happened for me. Now, this this was done live on stream. There might be, there, there's at least one or two other spots you can do this in, but I'm going to show you the, the, the main one right here. So, I have not picked up the Arcwing gun yet. I am getting the, some of these Narmer... Or I'm getting some of these sentient troops low. There's a Kawaka right there. Those animals do count as kills, by the way. Um, so if you, you can line up something that you get a bunch of animal kills and a couple sentient kills, that will count as well. Get these guys low just for extra fodder to like you know feed to uh, feed to the death machine or whatever. So he's nice and low. We're going to not pick up the gun once they're low. Also, look, I didn't mind control those Narmer back, so they're actually shooting at me. It's a little bit dangerous, but this this does guarantee the work right here. Um, so there's a good amount of enemies before you pick up the gun. Once you pick up the gun, I'm getting him low. Rush the bridge. Use your jetpack and jump over the enemies on the bridge. And you'll be behind them. The 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 trash ads you got low will be chasing at you. And the trash ads that just spawned will be right in front of your face. There will be easy amount... It will definitely be five enemies next to each other on this bridge. All right, so here we go. These guys are low. I'm about to pick up the, the weapon. Once you pick up the weapon, the enemies on the bridge will spawn. It's going to be a couple flying guys you can see right there. They're, they're going to be at the end of the bridge, so definitely charge the bridge as soon as you can, guys. Um, this is a kind of annoying challenge, but, um, you know, it's, it's not like it's impossible, like some people were saying. So, there's the ads that spawn. Kind of hard to see with the quality of the stream right now. So, there's four enemies right there, and the fifth one, there we go. So, line them all up. Those guys that you weakened earlier should be easy pickings, then blast them with the Ayanga. Now, remember, the Ayanga only has four rounds in the magazine, so it's a little bit sketchy. And there you go, you have the completion uh, on the bridge. So... That is something that you can do. As far as other spots to do this, uh, I will show. I will point it out when there is another one. Uh, but that one's less consistent for sure than the spot I just showed you. And the second spot's going to be after the the boss spawns. You're going to be fighting a thumper uh, on this bridge, or actually, you're going to activate the thumper on this bridge. There is a door behind the thumper that enters for the entrance to the boss room. Sometimes enemies will be stuck on that door, and um, some kuakas, like the little animals, will be stuck on the door too, which you could do count for kills, like I said earlier. So. Um, yeah, you can explore this area if you want to. There is some uh, gene tag location spawns in here. Um, I think I actually am going to show one right here. Yeah, up here. That's where I found my fifth one. There you go, right over here. Now, they won't they won't be highlighted until you get very close to them. So that is one of the spawn locations. And there you go. That's my five, five gene tags completion. Or gene stamps. I don't even know what it's called. They're pretty much like dog tags. And now, there's a good amount of enemies that spawn here before the boss as well. So you can... Maybe go for it there. Once someone shoots the boss, it wakes up and jumps away. And you could technically not even activate the thumper and park your uh, park your call squad by the uh, by the door. It might actually work. Since since I already beat the challenge, anytime it would complete after that, I don't think it's popping up. So yeah. As far as the boss room, it's really not. It, it, as far as I can tell, it's nothing nothing too special. There's the that little door right right there that we just walked through. That's the spot you can group the enemies up in sometimes. This boss room I, doesn't really have much to it. You can t you can tell your your call troops to use the turrets, but the turrets have one shot and seem really buggy right now. Um, the shots will the shots on turrets do about 650 damage to the the thumper, and your shots from your um, your Ayanga do like I think like about 100 total, so it's not really super worth it. So just shoot the thumper with the Ayanga. It's not it's nothing too crazy. Grenades do hardly nothing to it, um, and your 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 crewmates don't really do much either. To be honest, they just kind of just shoot the uh, the sentient troops. Um, now once you kill them, some more enemies will spawn. It seems like, and you you technically could get your five kills in this room, but they're they're so spread out that I just say do it on the bridge. The, the bridge worked out great. Um, yeah, once you kill this thumper, it's mission over. Just go to the extraction, and you're good to go. Um, like I said, guys, don't feel obligated to do these challenges. If, if you just are trying to get to the rank five for the Archon Shard, just blaze through it and just complete it. Like you can, you can maybe free a couple of the Narmer Veil vale guys for extra firepower. You see, I have, I have six call call minions shooting these guys with the like Narmer assault rifles. So pretty cool. 
Um, but you know, also they're, they're doing like zero damage. It looks cool, but they're not doing anything. Um, you can also technically shoot the middle of the thumper and the explosion of the Ayanga will hit the legs sometimes, but I'd say just shoot the legs. Just, just focus on the legs. It's not too hard. Um, so yeah, and also again, like I said, no, don't do the collectibles if you don't want to. It is not worth it, guys. It might eventually be worth it. It's like, oh, I didn't do the, tr I didn't do the challenges for like a whole month. I have like hardly any stock and I can only buy like one Archon Shard before I need to start doing challenges all the time again. Because you can... You can stock up your stock, uh, which is, that's definitely how that sentence is supposed to come out. Um, you can stock up your stock, and if you're not buying Archon Mods, you're not buying the Helmut version of Stein you're not buying his weapons or whatever. I mean, you could have, like, what, five, six hundred stock all s s stocked up for uh, whenever we do get rank five. And then, you know, that, that's you not doing call missions for a good month, because you're going to have it all stocked up. You're going to be level five, and it's like, okay, well, I just don't even need to do these anymore. Or at least for another month, I don't need to do these. So... Up to you. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. I showed you how to do the hardest challenge by a lot of people. I showed you where the uh, the thumper part was. I can't really show I showed you where the gene tags were, kind of. But like I said, those are RNG spawns. And the Narmer guys uh, that you can save, it's just any Grenier troop you see, that is a Narmer troop you can save. Okay? And, and then also the Ostrine cages. Um, though I don't think I showed those, but those are pretty noticeable as well. So... Hope you guys found it helpful. I'll see you later on. I'm actually going to be doing a second stream tonight on Twitch. So I'll see you on Twitch and I'll see you tomorrow for the YouTube video and all that. I appreciate all the support, guys. Take it easy. Peace.